With us now is Dr. Fred Bergston. He's director of the Peterson Institute for International Economics. He's been meeting with the finance ministers from the major industrial companies that have been here in Washington meeting. I saw one thing that said you were perhaps the most quoted uh, international <laughs> economist. Uh, where are we, doctor? Are we in a recession? Are we headed toward a recession? The United States is almost certainly in a recession. I don't think we're headed toward a world recession, though we're clearly slowing down. What we are is in the midst of a crisis of confidence. The financial markets are near panic. They need reassuring steps from the governments and the central banks to get them back into a positive mode. The governments and central banks need to take a series of very specific measures to get the credit markets functioning again, to get the banks lending again, to get the economy moving forward again. We need those decisions in the next day or two to get confidence back on track. Well, we did not see them come to any real agreement during this meeting here in Washington, did we, or did we? We did in a sense. The countries here in Washington agreed on several basic principles that will guide their actions. Most of those actions have to be implemented at the national level anyway. Bank regulation, putting new capital into banks, guaranteeing deposits of citizens. Those things have to be done at the national level. The test is now whether the individual governments, including our own, including the Europeans meeting in Paris right now, are able to put specific measures in place that implement those principles and restore confidence. I think there's a good chance they will. They know the three or four things they need to do. I have good confidence that they will put them in place over the next few hours. We uh, saw the government take these extraordinary measures, the $700 billion rescue plan and so on, the infusion of more uh, capital into banks, and yet the market just keeps going down. Uh, what's happening here? I think the measures so far have been piecemeal, kind of taken one at a time. They've been done purely at the national level, not coordinated internationally, and they have not been explained and communicated very well. Part of that's understandable, this has happened so fast, but they have to now put a comprehensive package in place at each national level, indicate how they fuse together in terms of restoring global confidence. That's the trick, and I think there's a good chance that they will do it, but that'll be the test. We have to see that now over the next day or two and going into next week. I suppose nobody can answer this with any certainty, but is it your sense that the, the market is beginning to bottom out, or is there more bad news ahead? I think there's both. I think there is still bad news ahead, particularly in terms of the economic turndown, but I think the market may be near a bottom. If the governments can be seen now as getting on top of the issue in a comprehensive way, I think we could have a turnaround. In fact, I think we could have an explosive upside rally in the markets, as we did for most of the day in the stock market here on Friday. Is there any good news? The good news is that the authorities are on the case. They're clearly in fully aware of the problem they face, both its gravity and now I think the nature of what they have to do. Put new capital in the banks, ensure everybody's deposits so they won't run on banks, guarantee lending among the banks themselves so the banks will start fueling the economy again. I think the authorities know what to do. I think they are now in a position to do it and do it on a comprehensive basis, on an international basis. This is a global crisis. We have to have a global comprehensive response. You say we're in a recession or certainly headed toward one, should I use the word depression? No. There is no comparison between today's situation and the depression of the 1930s. The main difference is that our authorities are on the case. The central banks are pumping money into the system. The governments are putting capital into the system. They will take coordinated measures to stimulate growth, so it's not the 1930s by any means. All right. Thank you very much.